Turning now to Meriden, where a candlelight vigil was held this evening for the six-year-old boy killed this week while riding a go-kart. Fox 61's Jake Garcia is back in studio to show us the support that grieving family is getting tonight. What are you learning, Jake? Well, Bridget, dozens of people from the community came out to the Meriden Green tonight to mourn the loss of six-year-old Adrian Warzeka and show support for his family. A community rallying around a grieving family Saturday as dozens gathered at the Meriden Green to leave candles and stuffed toys in honor of Adrian Warzeka. The six-year-old died from a serious head injury in a go-kart crash near Cronenberger Park Tuesday night. Police say Adrian was behind the wheel of the go-kart, his four-year-old sibling, by his side when the crash occurred. Police say Warzeka was wearing a helmet at the time of the crash. His sibling expected to be okay. Mayor Kevin Scarpati says the entire community is grieving with his family. The community coming out the way they did tonight uh, really just shows the, the love and the support that, that there is for this family. Uh, I can't comprehend or really fully understand what it is they're going through losing a child, but um, you know, members of the community coming out, showing their love, showing their support, uh, I really think is, is what tonight and, and this time is about. The family asked reporters for privacy as they mourned, so out of respect, we put our cameras away. From a distance, we watched as the family released doves in honor of Adrian. One quickly took flight, another circled the crowd before flying away. Mayor Scarpati says the outpouring of support has been overwhelming. The community itself wants to just really be there to, to support them, and so uh, any way we can do that uh, by helping raise funds, by being uh, at events like this, by uh, you know just standing by them during this, this difficult time, that's, that's what we're here for. The family has started to go fund me to help with funeral expenses, which has raised over $34,000 in just three days. We have linked to that fundraiser over on the links page at fox61.com. Reporting in studio, Jake Garcia, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station. Very